best you can book me alternative so this is tidical what it is it's basically a scheduling meeting booking tool and the really crazy thing about it is that it's a lifetime deal which is only 29 dollars which is absolutely crazy and if you go down they have this little dashboard here where basically they compare okay how much you would be paying for all of these different functionalities with a subscription and obviously this is exaggerated quite a bit i would say usually depending on the tool and the plan you're going to pay between 10 to 20 dollars per month whereas with this you just pay 29 dollar fee single payment lifetime access so basically the minimum after three months you're breaking even and after that you're just saving money or even within like two months you're starting to save money already however i would pay more money if it's actually providing me more of the different features because that's going to make me more money in general so it's worth my investment by the way i created a blueprint for the best business model out there so check the description so let me show you how it looks behind the scenes. And honestly, it's surprisingly providing a lot of functionality. So first of all, we have the different booking types. So you can create as many as you want. You can easily embed them on the website. If you want to get the code, you can embed them to your email. You can basically have copy the link and easily share it. You can turn it on and off, select the time, all that kind of stuff. You can clone it, share it on social media. Let me just press to edit this. And in here you will see, so you create your custom URL, you can create the description. Uh, what is the duration of the meeting? If you want perhaps specific dates, so you just set, okay, only on these dates, or you just have sort of like a weekly schedule when you are available, you can make a day available or unavailable. You can add different windows. So as you can see here, let's say from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Or I can set, okay, maybe then um, I'm only available until let's say 2 p.m. And then later on, I'm available again from like uh, 7 p.m until let's say like 11 p.m by the way i have created a document of 50 best growth hacks used by the biggest marketers out there check the link below so we have like this gap let's say in the middle we have meetings in the morning availability and then in the evening and you can obviously set up as many of these windows as you want so super easy to use interface and then well you can add the unavailable dates as well if you have some you know you will have some exceptions let's say you're going on holidays or something and you have the advanced settings here as well which is really really useful uh so first of all how far in the future people can book you can set let's say a couple of months minimum meeting padding so this is super important of course i'm um, just to have like a little bit of a break in between when people book so you're not booked one next to the other other back to back bookers can schedule within uh so let's say 24 hours this is what i like because i don't want you know to have someone books one hour from now and then i need to be rushing or whatever so i want at least 24 hours and then available time slots so what kind of intervals you know in between the bookings and then basically you can set up the location where it's going to take the meeting actually going to take place so you can integrate zoom you can integrate google meet microsoft teams i um, just have like a static link even like phone numbers and custom stuff um well no location as well if you want for some reason um enable group bookings you can enable guest invites one of the most important things uh, and by the way some of the other softwares they have sometimes free plans but the free plans a, they're not going to have a bunch of this functionality that I already mentioned. And B, they definitely are not going to allow you to charge money. So here you can charge money. You can put in, okay, whatever is the fee. And then you just need to go to integrations and integrate. I am not going to open this because I don't want to share my information. Uh, but you can integrate with Stripe and you can integrate with PayPal. And you can also add, this is a very useful thing, you can add questions to NYT. So if you're doing, let's say, a consulting type of thing, you can add certain questions that before they come, you already see their answers and that just makes the whole meeting a lot easier. Also, you can enable a package or a recurring bookings, which can really be a great, great thing to kind of just upsell your services to get more money from the software. You'll 
also can customize email reminders. So basically in here, I can customize the subject line. You can customize the content of like the body and all of that. So people are going to receive these as reminders that they need to come to the meeting. And when exactly are you reminding them one hour before booking 24 hours before booking? Um, this is super, super useful because people obviously always forget about this stuff. Also like this little feature that you have, you can basically enable people to custom confirmation page. So you can create like a page that is, um, well, leading them to either saying them, okay, once you have booked, this is when it's going to be, I'm going to be sending you reminders, or this is what you need to prepare and all of that kind of stuff, you know, or you can have some sort of upsell. You can have sort of like a tripwire page, whatever you want. So that's like a very useful feature. Again, if you want to a have a little bit better functionality, better user experience for people that are booking meetings with you, or B, you want to upsell, cross sell different stuff and increase the amount of revenue that you're generating. By the way, before I forget, I do have special bonuses as well. So check out the links for the software I will leave below. Another thing you can do is they have these date polls. So basically this is if you're having a meeting with a lot of people, and you want people to vote, okay, what is a good time for everyone or what's the best time for people? So you can create the different dates and people can basically vote on them and you can see, okay, this is when it works the best for everyone. This can be very useful in certain cases when you have a lot of people and you're really kind of just, you know, instead of guessing, when it's the best, you can actually have exact numbers. Also, I'm not going to show you the whole page, but basically you have the different calendar integrations. So if you want, you can integrate it with your Google account, you can integrate with Office or an Apple account. So for example, I integrate it with my Google account and then I see on my schedule that, okay, I have all of my meetings in my calendar. It's very, very easy and useful not to miss out. So just to show you the interface as well, this is what it looks like when someone wants to book a meeting. I didn't really put much information here, but basically, you know, you can change your title, you can have like the description and all that kind of stuff. And you have, it's basically the same, I would say as anything else looks like. It's a very clean, nice looking interface. So I just select the time, all that kind of stuff, put in the name, put in the email and I make the booking.